Hey there, Levi Allen here. And today we're gonna look at how you can add film grain to your projects in Premiere Pro. You can follow along with this tutorial with the blog post I made at leftcoast.co. First, we're just gonna show the quick principles for the more advanced users. Then I'm gonna explain it a little more in depth and show you a few tricks. So let's look at it. Okay, here we are inside of Premiere. This is the clip I wanna add some grain to. So I'm just gonna select my grain here from the side, add it to the video layer above my footage, select the grain, go to the opacity and put blend mode to overlay. And then you can just fine tune it there. I turn the keyframing off. <laughs> well, that's a really quick way to do it. Now I'm gonna explain it a little more thoroughly and why you'd even wanna add grain in the first place. If you're like me, you probably shoot a lot of your projects on digital cameras and digital cameras create kind of this ugly looking digital noise. Film cameras, however, their noise was a lot more pleasant to look at. And for a lot of us that now shoot our projects on digital cameras, we like to reintroduce a little bit of that film grain so that way it gets more of an organic look. And so where do you get uh, film grain? There's lots of packs sold online. Just Google it. I'm using Gorilla Grain and it comes in fine, medium and coarse with clean, muddy and dirty for each one. I really like the medium grain uh, and sometimes I like a little bit of hair and dirt in there, but uh, it's kind of your call. Here I have a sequence with the clip that I'd like to add it to. Uh, so we're gonna go over here, select the grain that we'd like to add. Let's uh, go with medium, muddy, um, add that over top. And then you can select on this clip, bringing up the effects controls in your effects control panel. Click down opacity and change the blend mode to overlay. And so right there you can see, that's telling Premiere to treat the clip in a certain way in the timeline. I turn off this keyframe right here and then you can just fine tune how much you want the grain to be. Somewhere between 62 and 85 in that range, that's kind of where I like it. So as you can see, there's now film grain introduced in some of those highlights and it's really obvious. Okay, so you're able to add grain over one of your clips. But let's say you have a whole video and you need to put grain over the whole thing. And so select the clip and fine tune your settings, get it the way you like it. Select it, do Command C, then unclick this video track one and click whatever video track you have your grain in and then do Command V and it will just multiply it. So there you can just do it across your whole sequence. And look, you got film grain across the whole thing. If later you change your mind and you want the opacity setting different, you can do that. So let's say I want it to change it to 90. Then click the opacity setting. Again, Command C. Then highlight all the film grain and do Command V and it will apply those opacity settings to all the other clips. Okay, so there it is. If you have any questions, connect with me on Twitter or Facebook. Those are the best ways to get a hold of me. I hope you enjoyed this. I really like adding film grain to my projects because it just adds that extra organic look. And so if you found this video helpful, consider pressing that like button to help others find the video as well. You can find lots more tutorials up on the blog at leftpost.co and there's some exciting stuff coming that you guys are not going to want to miss. Until next time, remember, life's better when you're making stuff. <laughs>